as I get further down the line in these series of videos, I'm going to be reviewing these various cameras that I'm using. So look out for that in the reviews of outdoor equipment playlist. Okay, in this video, and in keeping with the fact that I don't want to make a bait station or put it next to a bird table or even a fox set or badger set, I want to keep it away from obvious places. I'm slightly cheating. This is my pond and occasionally we get kingfishers as visitors. So I've installed some perches. Now strictly speaking that isn't putting bait down, but it's creating somewhere for a particular species to land and fish. You might see that as cheating, but hopefully we'll get some footage of kingfishers. I've now got two cameras, so I'm going to put one on this side of the pond. In fact, it's already fitted, just there. And I'm going to put one at the other side of the pond. This perch is approximately chest height above the water, which is, well, it seems to be a good height, because when I've been down the river and I've seen kingfishers fishing, they really do like it, maybe it's 1.5 to 2 metres above the water. It seems to be quite a favourable height, so that's what I've gone for. And I've put the other one a little bit higher up. This is probably a good 6 feet, maybe 6.5 feet, 2 metres or so, above the water. Um, it's on the back of my pond, so it's a little bit more shaded. It's a little bit more out of the way. So in this one... I'm hoping to get something other than a kingfisher. It would be lovely to get a picture of a kingfisher, but I would also like to get a picture of something that might come through the wood, from the back side of the wood, down the bank, through this open space and across the pond, maybe it's... I don't think it would be any... It's maybe it's too small for an owl, and I don't know whether an owl would actually fish over the water, but certainly blackbirds, maybe it's robins, other garden birds and so on, I would love to get something like a sparrowhawk because they absolutely race through the wood and over the pond. Um, so possibly some bird of prey. I'd like to think that that branch is thick enough because it's about an inch diameter for something like a sparrowhawk. Let's go for sparrowhawk. Okay, time up. It's been... Oh God, either four or five days or nights, I cannot remember. This one has actually been up less time than the one at the bottom of the pond. I think that's been up six or seven nights. I did put that one up early. So overall, maybe it's five or six nights if we average it out for both cameras. This one is my new Bushnell camera. So I've never actually seen this one working before. This one is the first camera that I got. This one is a 12 megapixel Vic Sing wildlife camera. I'll put the links to both these cameras in the video description. I've already had one test with this one, so I know it produces reasonable footage in good light conditions. Let's see what it does this time. Well, after looking at that footage, uh, I'm going to call this one a draw. I managed to get my cats on the video. That was from the 
Bushnell 14 megapixel camera. That one was at the top end of the pond, up there. Uh, the cats were wandering around on a night. Managed to get a blackbird on that one and a blue tit as well. On the other camera, the Vixing 12 megapixel camera, we managed to get a few pigeons, which I wasn't expecting at all. I didn't think pigeons would land on that little skinny branch. You know, only a few feet above the pond, but obviously they do. Um, but also the kingfisher as well, which is the main one that I was after. I didn't get any birds of prey, which I was disappointed about, because I do see owls in here now and again. Or should I say, I hear them more than I see them. And we do see the sparrowhawk come absolutely shooting through like a missile. So I didn't get those. So that was a loss. The Kingfisher was a win. Balanced out. We'll call it a draw. So, so far in this series, it's 2-1 to nature. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you next time.